Yeah, I know, AJ Ness. It was all it was all a fucking it was all a fucking scam. It was all a fucking scam. They were going to complain that I was trying to scam them and trying to get me. And 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 the and the individual that I talked to said they already called Clay County Sheriff's office. Them people's going to get tired of you fucks calling them all the time. And they're going to start arresting you. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. They're going to start arresting you. You fucks keep calling the Clay County Sheriff's Department. They're going to get tired of you, and they're going to start tracking who you fucking are, and they're going to start arresting you. Now, I'm telling you, man, you better not keep doing that shit. Anyway, here's the fucking motherboard that I was going to put in the client's computer. All right, there it is. Right there. That's a cheap motherboard for a $1,600 build. Well, you can claim it's a cheap motherboard all you want, but it runs all the latest shit. So, fuck you in your opinion. And besides, this motherboard wasn't cheap to buy either. This was not no, this wasn't no $20 motherboard, motherfucker. You're a dumbass, Ozma. I think all you want, Ozma, is to cause trouble, Ozma. Is that true? Is that why you're in the room to start shit? Yeah, that's why you're in the room to start a bunch of shit. Well, you're not starting a bunch of shit with me. Alright, now anyway, let's get back to reality here. Let's get the fuck back to reality here. Uh, I got all brand new parts in their computer. And they're trying to say, these fucking trolls are trying to say that I'm going to give them a computer with all used parts. That I'm not going to give them all brand new parts in their computer. What a bunch of shit, man. What a bunch of shit. You know, like I, like I didn't spend their money or something, you know. You know, I wish I did have a lot of money, though. I'd just send them back their 1600 bucks and tell them to go get fucked. But, oh well. Yes, Bont. Yes, Bont. The, the purchase of the computer was an attempt to try and entrap me. Yes, it was. Yes, it was, Bont. Believe it or not. Sent him a computer back with a special gift in it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, the pe oh, can I report them for the people that are trying to accuse me of fraud? Um... Uh, no, not really. What I can do, though, is if they decide to continue their line of thinking, I can I can just declare the the uh, the agreement null and void, and not give them jack shit. <laughs> That's what I can do, and I'm tempted to do it actually, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But yeah, see, if they breach the contract, I don't have to give them shit. I don't have to give them a goddamn thing. I can keep all that shit myself. I'm not going to, but I could. If I wanted to be a real dick, I could say, look, guys, you breached this contract. The contract is now null and void. I'm keeping every fucking thing. And you say, well, Vaughn, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. Totally legal. They broke the contract. I can do whatever the fuck I want. However, I'm not going to do that because I am a decent guy. I'm going to take the moral high ground and send them their fucked up computer anyway. Which, by the way, when I did put the computer together, I found that the motherboard would not post. It kept coming up saying, BIOS recovery requested, BIOS recovery requested. So I called MSI on the phone. I said, hey, uh, this computer uh, motherboard is keeping, te it keeps telling me BIOS recovery requested, BIOS recovery requested. They said, it's fried. The BIOS is fried. You got to bring it back. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. So, anyway, to make a long story short, it's got a bad motherboard in it. And they're going, I know they're going to try to spin that and say that it's somehow my fault when actually it isn't. You know, these things happen. They're perfectly normal. I told these suckers in advance that faulty parts and delays were perfectly normal. That is all part of building a computer these days. It is not unusual to get a motherboard and find out that it won't post. It is not unusual to get a hard drive and find out that it won't fire up. That is not unusual at all. You just RMA the part 
and wait for the new part to come back. Okay, but apparently these cats got too impatient and decide, oh well, and since uh, Von Helton didn't give us the computer in a fucking day, we're going to try and defraud him. Well, good luck with that shit. Well, am I keeping the money or sending a PC? Depends. If they decide to be assholes and call the police on me, or or try to sue me. I'm just going to I'm just, I'm going to declare breach of contract and I'm just going to keep everything for myself. Now, if it's not the case that they've hired an attorney or called the police and that was just a lie, then yeah, I'll send them their shit. But if they're going to try to get me arrested or something or try to get an attorney after me, that's a breach of contract, man. That's a bre that's an automatic breach of contract. And when they bre when they breach that contract, I don't have to give them jack shit. That's the law. That is the law. And if you don't believe me, look it up for yourself. Yeah, uh, supposedly they called uh, they called uh, Clay County Sheriff's Office. Now, if they really did call Clay County Sheriff's Office, I'm going to declare the, the agreement null and void, and I'm keeping every fucking thing. I'm well within my right to do so. They breached the contract. Uh, we have paperwork that was passed back and forth yes so yes we have paperwork that was passed back and forth between me and them yes supposedly a verbal contract is just as good as a written one but it's harder to prove that's that's the thing with a verbal contract it's harder to prove you know but but we did exchange paperwork they were given copies of everything they were told in advance everything that was going to happen they were even told in advance the fact that it would be delayed due to the fact that my chil I'm trying to get my children back. But apparently that doesn't fucking matter to these individuals because these individuals never had any intentions of being honest with me in the first place. They were hired by the trolls or asked to w do something by the trolls to try and get me in trouble. So if they could defraud, they could claim they were defrauded or whatever, or, or they were sold a bad bill of goods. They're, they're right now screaming bloody murder saying that, that the parts that I bought were second-hand parts or used parts or some stupid shit like that. They're not even, I mean, you guys saw the box. Fucking shit's brand spanking new. All right, but they're going to swear up and down. That's the latest thing right now is they're swearing up and down that I'm sending them used parts and shit. They're swearing up and down that I'm going to send them used parts. If they continue to harass me, uh, get her done, yes. If they continue to harass me and threaten me with police and with a lawyer and all this other bullshit, then yeah, I'm going to declare the, the contract null and void and I'm keeping everything. Because I don't like to be threatened, get her done. I don't like to be threatened. Do you fucking understand that shit? Bye. Bye, asshole. Well, it might not be a good advertisement for Von Helton, Bond, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And you can get the fuck out, too. If you're going to side with a bunch of assholes that's trying to fucking uh, take me to the cleaners, you can get the fuck out of my room, too. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Well, that job might have been my future, but you know what? Fuck it. If they're going to threaten me with lawsuits, and they're going to threaten to call the fucking cops on my ass, then I'll just declare the whole fucking thing null and void, and I'll keep everything. And then they can kiss my ass trying to get it back. Because once, once that contract is null and void, they don't get jack shit. You know, I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of everybody that comes in the fucking room jumping my ass. Here's a here's a news flash. Maybe it wasn't my fault. Wow, what a shock. What a shock. Here's the thing. I was willing to fucking replace that bad motherboard right there for free. I wasn't even going to charge him for it. But no, Vaughn's an ass, right? Vaughn's the one that's wrong, right? Fuck you. Fuck you. I was going to replace that faulty motherboard. I got to charge an extra 50 bucks for fixing that motherboard. Easily. 
I could have easily charged two or three hundred dollars just to build a computer by itself. I didn't do it. You know, there's people putting an ad in a paper right now charging five hundred dollars an hour to work on computers. Five hundred dollars an hour. Five hundred dollars an hour to work on a computer. And I charged them, oh my God, a whopping hundred dollars for the whole fucking thing when I could have charged, easily charged ten dollars an hour? Fuck you, asshole. Good luck. I, there was an ad, there's an ad in the paper right now. I don't know where the hell it's at. The wife found it. Um, where there's, there's people that, that will charge anywhere from a hundred to five hundred dollars an hour to work on a computer. You know why? just because of the shit that I'm going through right now that's why getting people getting people that sitting here trying to trying to fuck you up and you trying to be right to them you know trying to do right by them and they end up fucking you over just like the, just like this client is me that's why they charge so much see cuz it avoids that shit i know people i know people that took their computer to get worked on by Dell in January and they still ain't got their fucking computer back alright <laughs> you know and these mo but these motherfuckers want, want me to just you know jump when they call you know no sorry it don't work that fucking way you know